friends, welcome back to Dark Souls. In our last episode, we, well, we got destroyed by the Capra Demon, didn't we? And then we kind of took a small measure of revenge Hello. against it. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Yes, hello, Griggs. Did you see them? The three young clerics headed for the catacombs to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires. The poor young girl sent down into a tomb. What a terrible mission she is burdened with. We did not see them. Because they hadn't... They're not there yet, Griggs. What are you talking about? Oh, they are. Hello. Well, we may as well say hi to Petrus again. Oh. Hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. Well, maybe for one of us. Yes. Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Time's a grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. Screw you. I'll meet your lady. You're undead as well. We've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Say hello to Rhea. Rhea of Thorland. Isn't she pretty? And these guys are... One of them is Vince, and one of them is Nico. I think this is Vince, and Nico's the one who can't talk. Their story is they are... Well, rather, Rhea is on her way down into the catacombs and the Tomb of the Giants to perform her um, religious pilgrimage. Nico and Vince are bodyguards, and Petrus is supposedly joining their cause for, well, no explained reason. Um, the theory is he's trying to kill them. We're going to, first of all, take a couple of points of attunement, so we have an attunement slot. We're also quickly going to run out of souls here. Hmm. Well, we do need a couple of points of intelligence as well. What I'll do is I'll take the intelligence first. I'll quickly unlock the dialogue with Griggs. Oh, hello. Terrific to see us both in one piece. Incidentally, would you care to learn any sorceries? You're clearly talented, and besides, I owe you. Of course, we will require some materials, but I am happy to teach you some elementary spells. Are you interested? <laughs> Damn right I am. Splendid. Very well. I am pleased to have a chance to give something back. Well then, let's get started straight away. Okay. Let's not. I don't have enough you souls. Stay safe. Oh, do I? See what I have here. <laughs> the answer is no, I don't. Fantastic. Okay, what I'm going to do is take a huge detour. Oh, we didn't take our ring of favor and protection from two episodes ago. I'm very glad they're still there. So that gained us five humanities and it gained us the fabled Ring of Favour and Protection or Fap Ring. Mm -hmm. Dark Souls fans are very mature. What that will do is it boosts our health and our stamina by 20% with no downside until you try and take it off. When you take it off, it will break. So you have to be very, very sure that you don't want to use it anymore. 
That was actually a terrible idea. I should not have sent the elevator back up. Oh well. We'll take our soul of a nameless soldier from here. This is the new Londo ruins, by the way. Now, we usually can't come here, but because we have the master key, we can take our soul of a nameless soldier. If we'd like to take a big shortcut in the game, we could go down this cave. We're not going to. Because I'd like to show you most of what the game can offer. Oh, what is that thing? Well. Oh, that's a problem. I was going to attempt to kill this. With a lot of arrows from far away. However, I don't have enough arrows. <laughs> So with that in mind, I'm just going to run the fuck away from it. So we'll go back up here. We have a few souls to spend. Not many. While I'm waiting for the elevator, I will... Actually, while I'm waiting for the elevator, why don't I quickly grab the S-Dock? I probably won't use it. But it's another weapon. For when I inevitably get very bored of the battle axe. Yes, we're making a big deal of killing some helpless undead. So, we're back in Firelink Shrine. Quickly use our souls that we obtained there. have a quick rest at the bonfire and then we will sadly why what a surprise I didn't expect you to make it oh somebody rang the bell wait was it you you never give up do you I don't know how you do it well don't stop now only one more but it's going to be suicide <laughs> I think it's time for you to die, asshole. How Zirath? You have some nerve. I may be crestfallen, but I'm not defenseless, you rascal. You will soon regret this. You know, if you just focused on the fight, you'd probably do better than if you stand there and be circled by me while you talk. Yes, yes, charge attack, we do oh no. <laughs> A 
we will be getting the hell away from him so that we can heal. That'll do. Oh no, that's fine. Yes, he's very good with his shield. Sadly, he's not so good at avoiding backstabs. <laughs> not too shabby. Not too shabby. I think you've done me a favor. Well, I feel slightly bad about killing the Crestfallen oh, no, no. Warrior, but... Oh, you certainly are keeping at it. Myself, I'm fine. Let's get started straight away. Yes, let's. I am going to obtain Great Heavy Soul Arrow from you. Am I? Well, maybe not, actually. Maybe I'm better off taking something smaller for now. If I take normal Soul Arrow, that'll leave me yeah. some souls. I can take a couple of points in attunement. No, I can take one point in attunement and be 42 souls short. Well, that's very unfortunate. Let's a speed run through here. And it's now time to go to the depths. Again, we don't need anything from you. Oh, but we can get her to call us a humdrum lad. Yes, I am. I'm the most humdrum of lads. Also, calling me a humdrum lad will not gain repeat service. Welcome, one and all, to the depths. Not the nicest of areas, to say the least. The shortest plunging attack in history. Wait for him to tire himself out. Get him through a wall? Yeah. Get him before he attacks us. Slightly dodge him. Now. More dogs down here. And a new enemy type. Oh. I can't one hit these dogs. Say hello to the butcher. There are only two of these in the game. And they're both here. But by God, that is a big sword. Can I let you in on a small secret about these? They're actually female. You wouldn't think so to look at them or to listen to them. But they were once female humans. Oh, get out of there.
do. We drop a fair amount of souls. And we'll take one of the more important treasures in the game, the Large Ember. What that will do is that will allow us to reinforce our weapon beyond plus 5, all the way up to plus 10. Oh, hello there, second butcher. She waits until you're vulnerable before she attacks you. Because if you don't know that's there, you won't go looking for it. She will drop the sack, which, in the interests of fairness, I'm going to put on right now. <laughs> yep, it's simply just a sack for my head. You. Yes, you. You must help me. We're going to save Sean Locke now, ladies and gentlemen. See that you don't, good sir. He'll also go back to Firelink Shrine. Which is sort of the central hub of the game, and it's where all the characters like to meet up and have their little parties. Now, we can go along past where the second butcher appeared there, or we can take advantage of this little doorway. Oh my goodness, what is that? Well, for what it is, we need to chip at it a little bit giant fucking rat. It's a genuinely powerful enemy. It doesn't look like much being a rat, but that should do it. Geronimo. It's so very susceptible to plunging attacks. <laughs> Take a soul of a nameless soldier. We'll take the humanity that the rat dropped. Incidentally, what you see up there is the spider shield, which we don't need. This is the key to the depths, sewer chamber key. Oh, sorry. Uh, we don't need that either. Um, the door that that opens actually opens from the master key anyway. But it's nice to know where it is in case you didn't take the master key. Now, we don't want too much of what these guys are selling. Because what they're selling is poison. And we don't want any of what this guy's selling. Because he's incredibly resistant to damage. However, I may do some off camera farming of these guys. Because what they drop is titanite shards. They drop either green titanite shards, which are good for upgrading to fire damage, or large titanite shards, which are what you use to upgrade past 5 and going up to 10. We don't need to go this way. However, we'll kill our little basilisk friend. We'll dodge his attack. Oh, what's this? Captain Kirk has invaded. Hello there, Captain Kirk. 
This is a very spiky man. Who I usually backstab to all hell. However, I didn't make it back to him in time, so... Oh no. We'll take a quick heal. So this is one of the NPC invaders that uh, From Software put into the game to sort of allow people who were playing offline to still experience the main body of what the invasion system is about. I think it's a bloody good idea. None of them are particularly difficult and in fact, yeah, to be honest, Kirk appears, I think it's three or four times in the game. And he's, he's not difficult to kill in any of them. There are a couple of others. And they're also rather easy to kill. But I still think it's it's just... It's just a nice experience. When in fact, real invaders are going to, well, frankly, destroy you. If you get a real invader in your game, then you're going to die. We'll open our secret bonfire here. Take our attunement slot. Also take up a couple more points in intelligence. Now I need to see what arrows I have here. Okay, I only have my poison ones. That's not a massive deal, but we're going to have to snipe someone here in a minute, and I usually have more arrows than I do. Excuse me while I go completely the wrong way. Excuse the terrible camera angle as well. Now, for any of our Welsh speakers... I should... Oh, do you know? How did you get here from Cardiff? Can I just ask that? There is no rail service. I checked. He does sell gold pine resin, which is very useful. He also sells armour. And he sells arrows. I was not aware of that. This is good. I'll take uh, 52 standard arrows from you, good sir. For the time being, he merely sells a standard armor set. However, as you kill bosses, certain bosses in the game allow you to wear their armor. And the way you obtain it is to buy it from Domnall of Xena for, well, frankly, stupendous prices. The guy fleeces you every time. But sometimes it's worth it just to run around cosplaying as Ornstein or Small from later in the game. We want to take out that guy. Because he can actually fire down into the battlefield of the next fight. Now there are summons available for this fight. But, to be honest with you, I 
I've killed both of them. <laughs> it's the same story as the Gargoyles fight. We have Lotrek and Solaire, both summonable. Take our heavy crossbow from here. And with not much left to do, we'll equip the gold pine resin. And we'll run into the gaping dragon boss fight. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Take a few hits at its head and we will run away. Because, well, we're pussies. Okay, not enjoying the fact I can't seem to hit its tail with my R1 attack. And also not enjoying the fact it's in a corner right now. Oh no. Oh no. Whatever you do, don't get up. Oh. I went a little too overzealous there. Oh no. Nope. <laughs> It's legs when it charges like that, it's legs do a hell of a lot of damage. Oh no. It's tail, not so much damage, however. We'd still like to avoid it. Okay. I'd like to show you what you can do with its tail. Namely, chop it off. If you do a certain amount of damage to it, or... I don't know. It does seem fairly random as well, the amount of damage that you can do to it. Like, that seemed to go in two hits there. I think it might be poise-based. So if you're using a bigger weapon, it goes quicker. Going to let it put its head down again. Are we? Well, maybe it just won't do that. Oh, triple stomp attack. Its leaping attack can be very disorientating because it can drop down pretty much anywhere. Oh, it's going to puke. It pukes a corrosive acid-like substance that can, well, I say can, that does um, completely decimate your armour. And you're dead. Since we're beside it, we may as well attend the hard leather set and the Blight Town key, which is the boss drop. It also drops 20 humanities and it'll drop a homeward bone as well. And of course, 25,000 souls. Now, I realise I kind of made that boss look a little easy. It can be very difficult. It has a lot of very dangerous attacks, as you saw with the charging attack it did on me. Really, the only way you can beat that boss is through just practice. We'll get our intelligence up to 16, which is a bit of a magic number for us right now. But it's what we need for Great Heavy Soul Arrow. We will 
may as well use our souls while we're here. I'll take an extra level in attunement, it won't do anything for us right now. But for now, all we have to do is go back to Firelink. I will very briefly turn around so you can see... Oh! They drop from the roof as you run past. There's not a lot made of it. Until, and I will show you what happens. Oh, what's this? Oh no! And they continually attack you while they're on your head. I will take a quick heal because, you know, it may surprise me with an attack. I'll take my soul of a nameless soldier from here. So that's been the depths. Uh, the dogs actually do bleed damage, which, um, if that little purple bar that was in the. Oh no, 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 oh no. Wow. I'm quite lucky to be alive. Kind of um, proving my own point about the torch bearing guys. They are they're very powerful if you let them hit you. Did not expect so many those guys to come down. But indeed that's all of them, so for now it's just a quick back a quick jog back to the depths. And almost suicide from a ledge. <laughs> I'm not back for any of your moss. However, I'll take some of your arrows. Because I have a dragon to kill. Also, um, well, I can't, I'm not in a bonfire, so I can't, um, I can't do it yet, but I have one soul left. Yeah. Doesn't everyone have one soul? we get a humanity from the rat at last. And another wall hack. Leap! Gregs, save me! Save me! Gregs, come on! Oh, we have a couple of them coming down the stairs this time. Oh, isn't that silly of you? So now that we're back in Firelink, three of them came downstairs. Oh, well. <laughs> Aren't you just the Max Whitlock of Dark Souls? We'll have a quick rest at the bonfire. We will also tune Soul Arrow to our solitary attunement slot. 
And I think we're going to leave it here for now. So in our next episode, we'll be taking on Blighttown. But until then, it's goodbye from Solaire and goodbye from me. Thanks for watching, friends.